to my channel divinely guided tarot if you're new here my name is angel and i'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading this message could be for all signs so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation and leave the rest behind and as always guys thank you so much for everything that you do to help this channel grow all right so here's where we are at the previous message that i i just got done recording um revolved around two masculines fighting kind of you know a one masculine energy being really jealous over another masculine energy trying to take their destiny try to take their life try to take everything that it is that makes it them right god is in turn bringing forth a divine feminine for this king of cups in reverse um bringing their divine counterpart their twin flame into the picture as their divine judgment because this queen of cups here will not tolerate that particular energy they will not see themselves with this king of cups in reverse so the message that we are reading on today is to pick up for this divine feminine on her storyline after she leaves her twin flame and what's coming for her because I want to be able to give that particular energy some hope you know, it's important, especially when she was brought in to be a catalyst for this person's um, change in life. You know, it's it's not easy. It's not fair for her. And, you know, I feel like there's a lot of you in that energy right now where you're like, man, I came into this twin flame relationship and they turn out to be a karmic. Well, now what? You know, I'm not going to tolerate that energy. And I agree with you. And it bothers me that some of you feel like you're in that energy. So we're going to go ahead and try to see what we can find out for your timeline. If that last message resonated with you. Okay. So Holy Spirit, please come through. Help shield, guard, protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my beautiful divine feminines that are going to be resonating with this message today. I love it. The sun and the chariot on the bottom there. It's coming. Holy Spirit, please deliver the perfect message for them. Deliver them the hope that I know that you're trying to pour out in my hands right now. Please give them the message that they need um, whenever they listen to this message at the divine right time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so that's really positive. The chariot, God bringing in divine love for you and that joy and that happiness. You have like happiness on joy on tap. It's like you have your own sunshine pouring out of you. It's, it's beautiful. Holy Spirit, give us the first card for this Queen of Cups. What's the energy that she can expect? What energy is she currently in right now that could help us out? <clears throat> Four of Swords landed on its side. You are in between a phase of resting and relaxing and meditating and, and discovering things and stepping out. For the first time and stepping out to find that your your soulmate your twin flame is a loser you're like you were supposed to be ready for me and then you realize oh my gosh god used me as a tower for you well now what so you could be stuck in the type of a crossroad right now you could be stuck at a now what do i do which is why i'm reading this message so it's accurate what we're pulling out for your energy right now Holy Spirit, reveal more. You have the Six of Cups coming out here. This is reminiscing. This is pulling out and recalling memories of a certain circumstance or a certain life. You could be actually sitting here right now um, remembering the dreams that you had of your divine counterpart. We all had dreams of our future husbands and future wives, right? We all had dreams of our wedding days and what that marriage would look like, what everyday life would look like. Um, you, you always thought like, I know what this person's going to look like in my life and they look nothing like what we thought. So I feel like these are the dreams popping out that this queen of cups is recalling she's trying to remember what her actual dreams were of her soulmate 
and she's comparing what she thought and what she got. You know, like, there's a lot of tears here. There's a lot of pain. This is the, I worked so hard and I feel like I've got nothing for it. God promised me a divine counterpart and he gave me shit. That's what it basically feels like. But that judgment is coming back out again. See, as you were brought in for judgment for somebody else, somebody is coming in for judgment for you. Only in this particular situation, the person that's coming for you has not stepped out and revealed himself yet. But it's coming. This is God saying, don't you worry your pretty little head off, divine feminine queen of cups. You just keep staring into that beautiful cup and I'm going to go ahead and refill it with some holy water over here. And you're just going to sit here and look a little bit more pretty. Glow a little bit more from the inside out, right? Let that sun shine through. And God's going to be delivering you your reward. See, you were tested too. I don't know if you realize this. You were tested. You weren't just the catalyst for your dark, you know, twins' salvation. You know? You weren't just there to bring about that tower. You were tested just as much as your dark twin was tested. Your test, though, revolved in walking away. Are you going to settle for that energy? Or are you going to walk away and wait for the thing that God promised you? You passed your test. They didn't. And you passed it better than they did. You did it all alone. You went up against the force and you won. Death cannot conquer you. Death cannot claim you. Death cannot take you. So now you're in that planning stage of your life. God is trying to move forward with your energy. Now that he's kind of picked you up from the ground of realization that your, your twin flame is a darker person and that you had everything that you worked for just blew up in smoke. God's paving a new path for a new divine partner, a new life for you. He's giving you some foresight during this time. So while your emotions are hurt and you're suffering some pain right now, when you're vibing in that little bit of a lower level, you're not going to be able to get the messages as clearly as you would if you are in that light and in that love and in that happy, joyful space, right? It's harder to hear messages when you're vibing low. So right now, God is saying, just focus on giving me all of those bad memories, all of the, the hurt feelings, all of the pain. Pour it out at the cup at my throne. Fill your cup with it, pour it out at my throne, and then let me fill your cup with something different. So you're in the planning phase, or God is right now in the planning phase for you. Judgment is coming in for you. Your karma is coming in, your good karma. I said your good karma is coming in, and the wheel of fortune flipped over. Confirmation for you guys. God loves you enough to bring this good fortune into your life. Good karma coming in. And do you see all of those divine beings in all four corners of this card taking notes? They all have open notebooks. They all have open notebooks and they're all scribing things down. They're recording your life. They're recording your choices. Um, these angels are meant to follow you to, you know, report back to God on how you're doing. What's the status? You know, how's my baby doing out there? Like, well, let me go ahead and see, uh, you know, mm, made some good choices. Well, guess what? Now the wish is coming true. Your nine of cups is finally coming through. Your wish come true. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what comes out? The new journey. You have the full card with the ace of cups. You're starting on a new journey full of overflowed abundance and love. Remember, when you filled up your cup with all of 
the things that you didn't like and you poured it out at the throne. You gave God the bad things in your life and asked God to fill it in with something different. So now God is blessing your journey. Blessing your journey. Isn't that gorgeous? your queen of cups I can't be sad for you anymore 10 10 on the timer because God's blessing you with a new journey a new dream God's giving you a new dream the old dream has come and gone the new dream is yet to come justice it's coming you guys you did the right thing. Okay, who's coming? Who's coming? Who is coming? Let's switch over to the angel tarot deck. Who is coming? I want to know. It's got to be a divine counterpart. It's got to be. It's, it's got to be. Not a twin. I don't feel a twin. But I feel like a high level soulmate might be paired up with you. Hmm. That's what it feels like. I want to know. I want to know who this future partner is going to be of my Queen of Cups that resonates with this energy so far. I want to know what she can expect, what she can look forward to, what beautiful things are coming in for her. What beautiful things are coming for my Queen of Cups. We've got... Who's coming for you? The King of Swords. Somebody who stands on their own truth. Somebody who's able to um, make the right decisions. And who's not going to look at you and turn you away for anything. They only have eyes for you. In fact, they're using animal guides to help. It's kind of like he's sending monitoring spirits to watch over you and just protect. Like he's praying and asking God to help you wherever you can. And I feel like he looks at hawks and eagles and birds like this bird on his arm. He looks at all birds as divine messengers and he whispers encouraging words to these birds, these monitoring spirits, and then they fly to you. So maybe you have an uptick of... Um, you know, bird activity in your area. Maybe you are seeing more hawks. Maybe you're seeing more um, eagles, turkey buzzards, you know, uh, eagles, blue jays, cardinals, doves even, like morning doves. Um, you're seeing just a lot of birds, like even little, like little wood tick chip like little little chippy little birds that just pop up like on your windowsill and just just like cheep cheep cheep. Maybe you've been feeding birds a lot recently. Um, but maybe you feel better when you're around birds and maybe that's the reason why. Because maybe you both are sharing animals um, with your communication. You're sending messages back and forth like carrier pigeons would send messages. Oh spiritual carrier pigeons oh my gosh that is the cutest thing i have ever i've ever seen okay so spiritual carrier pigeons they showed me snow white sitting at a well and she has her little fingers out and the little bird just comes and lands on her fingers and she's kisses it on the cheek and then sends it off to go ahead and deliver a kiss to her her true love you know, I feel like it's little divine spiritual carrier pigeons. Like, it's what it feels like. It's beautiful. So, King of Swords, a man that knows how to make those decisions. Yes, and, oh my gosh, guys, Nine of Cups. I told you it was that divine blessing. It was the wish come true. This is the wish. You're getting a new Dream, a new wish come true. Nine of Cups, King of Swords. Yes, this is this is this is blessings on blessings on blessings. Each of these nine cups.
holds a blessing, a miracle for your life, right? And you're going to be sharing these miracles all with this King of Swords energy. You have been blessed with a true emperor who holds his King of Swords above all other kings because he believes that the truth, that love conquers all, you know, he knows the truth, don't you? This is it. You may not be blessed with a twin flame, but you are being blessed with a divine soulmate, a very high level soulmate who matches the energy that should have been waiting for you when you approach your twin flame for the first time. This energy has been placed into another divine counterpart who is not going to look at you and turn away from you. This person is only focused on you. I have a feeling this individual does not know who you are because right now they are dealing with a lot of healing. They definitely have the right intentions. They're all about that Ten of Pentacles. They're all about that support, all about that generosity. Yeah, guys, you have something beautiful heading your way, okay? So I want some advice. I want a little bit of advice for this Queen of Cups who is coming into a divine counterpart, a true emperor, holding that King of Swords energy, bringing in that Nine of Cups wish come true feeling, that feeling of home, that feeling of completion. So I want to know, until this energy comes into contact with you for this new path that you're on, Divine Feminine. I want some advice on what you can actually do in your time to prepare for this person coming to you. Remember, you came to your person the last time. Now this person is coming to you, okay? See how God strikes that balance with everything? We have a stray card. Yes, we have two stray cards flipped. Hold on one second. And I wasn't taken either. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, what can my Queen of Cups get some advice on for this time waiting? You're going through a change. New Moon card has popped out here. This is a very yin-yang kind of energy. This is telling me that what you thought you wanted is no longer what you wanted. So now you're experiencing new dreams. You're starting to think about how your life is going to change from how you saw it going from how it's going now. So God wants you to focus on the change, wants you to focus on adapting to the change. That way you can break yourself out of any leftover uh, toxic resentment that you have for your twin that failed you. You know, you don't want to start going into, if you truly are ready for that change, calling in that new, God's really, really giving you some warnings here to not be tempted to look into the karma that your twin flame is receiving. God wants you to cut the cord so you don't suffer the karma because you have a divine counterpart, a true emperor waiting for you and he's waiting for God to give him the green light to come towards you. God will send this person to you the very second you don't entertain anything more with this other person, okay? You have to give up the old. Ooh, ring it in the ear. There's your confirmation. You have to give up the old to get the new, right? Because God wants you to be worthy of this change in this person, this change in this dream. And it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, you know, because you've spent a whole life on a dream and now the dream has changed. So be excited about what changes God is showing you is the new dream. And then start craving the new dream. And when you hear messages about what your dirty, dumb dog, God, um, uh, guy friend did to you or your twin flame did to you. And oh, look at his karma. Look at what he's happening. Don't be tempted to look into that. It's a trap. The enemy uses as that as a trap to keep you in that King of Cups in reverse. 
his energy. You don't deserve that. Okay. What's the next one? Ooh, it says you got the Mami Wata energy here. You got the card of memory. This is a card that says live in your memories by only taking what resonates out of them. So if something bad happened to you and that memory is flooding you, look at the good that came out of that dark time in your life. Hold on to the lessons that you learned from these memories so you know what not to go into, what energy not to entertain in the future. Um, because you know what you want and you're not going to settle for anything less. That's what you're telling me. I'm a confident woman. I know what I want. Good. <laughs> Teach somebody else how to do that, how to be confident. That's a, that's a skill set we could all get a, a, a big healthy dose of, you know, self-confidence. But you're going to be using a lot of what happened in your past as foundational <clears throat> barriers, um, foundational boundary lines that you're going to set up for your new relationships moving forward. And you have the Yemaya card, the card of resurrection. These are all powerful high arcane cards that have come out for you. The change, the memory, and the resurrection. The change, the, the memory, the remembering who you are, and resurrecting like a phoenix from the ashes. Whew. What else could they possibly say? What else? It's like there's this moment of pause that I just took and I could hear a pin drop. And I could see all of your angels, your ancestors, your guides, those of you who are resonating with this message. And I just, I see everybody's guides taking a deep breath and with this really beautiful, peaceful, serene smile on their face, just letting out that breath and enjoying the peace in the moment that we're experiencing right now. You have your whole life ahead of you. A new dream is being formed. This is the time for you to take up that alchemical skill of yours and start really calling in all of the things that you've always wanted, but you held back because somewhere deep down inside you were like, I have to be available for somebody. So I have to be this way or I have to be that way. God is saying no more. I want some animal sphere cards. I feel like if you're talking to each other through spiritual carrier pigeon, you know, using birds, um, avian uh, assistance, I want to get some spirit animal cards for you to close out with because I really feel like God wants to surprise you with a lot of what's happening. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be surprised. I don't think you're going to be upset for very long. You pour your own love on yourself well enough to where you, I don't think you could ever fall into depression. Hurt feelings? Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who wouldn't be hurt? When you find out that your twin flame's a jerk. I know what I felt like when I found out my twin flame was just a, another agent for evil, you know? He'll never forget me, though. You know what I mean? Oh, he threw away a winning lottery ticket. And that's what you got to do, guys, is just remind yourself that they're the ones that lost, not you. The first one that you have is the coyote, the revealer of truth. It says, don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and the tricks of life and learn from them. This is pulling up those memories, guys. 
remembering things that have happened in your life and learning from the hard times. Resurrecting that joy and that love, you know? Oh, great message. So the coyote coming out here. And you know what? That's a very sly energy too. Um, you know, coyotes get a, a bad rap. You know, farmers, they, they can't have them on the land. You know, there are some states, like out in Ohio, if you don't eliminate coyotes on your property, you can be fined. And I hate that, you know? I mean, it's like, um, you know, why can't, why do you got to kill them? You know, I mean, just because they come from that fox line, maybe because they're sly, maybe because they raid chicken coops, you know? Don't you like eggs too? So do they. Don't you like chicken? So do they. But I feel like you may have been misunderstood a lot and maybe your divine counterpart that's coming into you has been misunderstood a lot. But you know how to take all of that balance that you've earned, that balancing your dark and your light, understanding that there are, there's value to being a formidable badass. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you can be tough and still do it in a godly way. I feel like that's, that's where your energy's at. And that's where your divine counterpart's energy is at as well. The next one you have is the horse card. This is the card of freedom. And the message says, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Why? Because you're at the helm of those dreams. You are free. Remember, we talked about that. You're now at a point in time in your life where you're like, I have a new dream. How do I want it to go? You are creating, you're using your alchemical force to create the life that you see for yourself. Nice, beautiful spirit. One more, give me one more to close out this message, please. And thank you. Last one, fell on the floor. You are gonna like it though. We have the draft card. This is the card of the visionary. It says, rise above the earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with an even bigger heart. I mean, mic drop again, you know? I mean, this is powerful. You already know the answers inside of you, Divine Feminines, who resonated as the Queen of Cups in this particular storyline. But I want you to know something. It is coming. He's coming. Don't be trapped in the sadness of what happened to you and your twin. That is another test for you. Are you going to be curious and dive deep into the tarot community to look at your karmic twin's future, you know? Or are you going to release that path and say, you made your bed, you went and chose to sleep with the devil, you realize it's painful, you made your bed, go sleep in it. I want nothing to do with it. It's what I've done. I focus only on the new. I left my past in my past. Let them eat their heart out. You know, they lost me, not the other way around. And I'm not going to be trapped in their grief anymore, <laughs> you know? So guys, um, let's go ahead and pull some closing messages for you and get this one all wrapped up. I'm really happy to see your future is exactly the way you hoped, just not looking the way that you thought it was going to look. How awesome that you get to be blessed with a new dream, right? I wonder if maybe this path was hidden from you for divine protection because this was always your true divine partner all along. Makes me wonder. There's layers and layers and layers to what God does, you know? <laughs> Sometimes he rolls the dice and he throws it in a part of the cosmos where we can't see. That's why I love being surprised, you guys. I love it. I love it when God shakes up my globe, you know? Shakes up my hourglass and turns it around and says, hey, I reset your hour for you. Do you wanna go have some fun? And I go, yeah, let's go do it. Isn't it fun being a divine being? Isn't it fun having that kind of love with God? That even when God shakes up your world, you're like, ooh, wonder what's happening next. <laughs> 
I wonder what's gonna what what enjoyable things I'm gonna be able to pull from this. I wonder what lessons I'm gonna be able to learn from this. There's excitement in that kind of growth when you're not afraid of the growth. Maybe that's a lesson for somebody there. Don't be afraid of the growth. Find excitement in it because there's some really cool, beautiful things that happen whenever you give in to the growth of spirit. So your first message was a viewer sponsored one. Thank you very much. It says, truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly, I say he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. And that's from Psalm chapter 62, verse one through two. This is saying, just remember, I'm always here with you. Just remember that I get you through it. No one else. Mankind cannot save you. Only God can. You can through God. You know, it's all about your journey, your path how you find God in your own way, not how everybody else wants you to find it, not how everybody else wants you to praise and worship God. You do it in your way, the way God teaches you in your heart. Because in the end, it's just you and him anyways. Who cares what the world of man says about God? Talk to him and find out for yourself who he is, right? It's beautiful. Next one, another viewer sponsored one. Thank you guys, whoever donated this. It says a person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do what is right and just is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Proverbs chapter 21, verse two through three. Is God upset that you don't go to church every Sunday? No. God finds it more pleasing when you go into your bathroom and you stare in the mirror and you go, God, I need your help. And you're in a private location. You're in your bedroom. You're in your bathroom. You're in your shower. You're at your kitchen sink, washing dishes and praying out loud. That relationship, when you come to him in private where nobody else can see, that's the relationship he wants with you. So when I say you help people find God in their own way, just by testifying your life, when I say that on this channel, I mean it. People can see your relationship with God. And it's different from everybody else's. And then everybody starts to get it. My relationship with God is different from your relationship with God. It is different from your relationship with God. You know why? Because we are all different. We are all separated from God. Maybe God is having a personality crisis and he needed to put all of his personalities on this planet to iron it all out. Like one big giant 3,000 year um, therapy session. You know, weeding out all the bad parts of himself and trying to find all the good parts of himself. Sometimes I think of it that way, because when we think that we're separated from God, I am a personality of God. You are a personality of God. We all have different fingerprints that separates us. We can be connected to source but we all have our own personalities. We are all uniquely different, just like our fingerprints. That means our relationship with God, too, is also different. And thank you, God, for shining through the clouds on that one for that confirmation. God wants you to know that that relationship that you have with him is more precious than that tithe you put into that bucket at church. Somebody doesn't go to church because they don't tithe and they feel like they're a low down dirty dog because they don't give money at church. I don't always tithe when I go to church. Do you know how I tithe? By giving back to you guys. You know, somebody pays me for a message. If you're willing to walk with me for an hour, I'm going to walk with you for two. And I sacrifice my time. That is my tithe in the kingdom. It's a little surprise for those of you who uh, 
pay for, for personal readings one-on-one, -on -one, you get a, a personal message for two hours. You pay for an hour, you get two. <laughs> and it's helpful, it's beautiful, and it really connects with people. But that's not the point. The point is you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing right now. And the rewards are great because of your dedication to God, okay? Your last scripture says, Though I walk in the flesh, I am not carrying on my warfare according to the flesh and using mere human weapons. For the weapons of my warfare are not physical, but they are mighty before God for the overthrow and destruction of strongholds. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through 4. You do not conform to the world of man. You came to rectify it. You came to teach man. You came to show people a new way. You're teaching people that they do not have to carry on with vengeance and anger and fear. You're changing the way. You don't use weapons. You use God's word, God's truth. And that is more powerful than any enemy. Now, I don't know if any of you knew this, but do you know who the front lines people are in God's army? They're angels, of course, but it's the choir. God puts a heavenly choir on the front line to sing and worship in spirit and pray in beautiful harmonizing. Those are the most powerful warriors and they are put on the front line. They are the first defense and the first online attack that God uses, the choir. So the next time you're in church or the next time you hear your choir stand up, add your voice to it. Be a part of that formidable force and watch how the, the room around you changes, right? So guys, I'm really glad that we were able to give a little bit of closure for that feminine in that last reading, right? Queen of Cups, I'm so excited for everything that's coming for you right now. And I want to tell you that uh, to just keep your head up, keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing, okay, as always. And uh, just stay you. Take care of yourselves, guys. And God bless you all.